Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to teach you how to solve the corners or the third step of the root method called CMLL. So there's kind of two sub steps to this. This is the beginner way to do it. So once you finish your blocks, you're going to have all your blues on the left, all your greens on the right. That should be solved. And now the next step is to solve these four corners on the top. So at first they're going to look something like this. And your goal is, your first goal is to get them all facing yellow up like this. So all four of them, you want them to be yellow. And it's going to look something like this. this the colors on the sides aren't going to match. But then, um, so that's called orientation, getting them to point yellow up. Then what, you, what you're going to do is permutation. So that's the second step. And that'll get them all matching on every side. So here we see the greens are matching, reds are matching, blues are matching, orange is matching. So for orientation, you only need to learn one algorithm. This is called the soon. And how you do it is like this. So you think about this pair right here. So you take it out with R, U, R prime, and you put it there, U, R, U2, R prime. And what this algorithm does is that it twists these three corners clockwise. So if you look at this, once I do the suit on this one, this is gonna twist this way, this is gonna twist this way, and this is gonna twist this way. So once again, these three corners after you do the soon will twist clockwise. And you always wanna do the soon from a position where you're gonna get one corner oriented like this. So once you, your goal should be to get one corner. So I'm gonna look at this cube right here and say I want to do a soon from this angle. What's gonna happen is this is gonna stay, so it's gonna be yellow here. This is gonna twist this way, so yellow here. This is gonna twist here. And this is gonna twist clockwise, so yellow is gonna be here. So we don't wanna do it from here. So let's do a U. Uh, are we gonna do the soon from here? So if we do it from here, this is gonna move here. This is gonna twist and that's gonna go there. This is gonna twist and this is gonna come here. So it's not gonna be from here. Uh, let's try from here. So if we twist this, it goes here. We twist that, it goes there. And we twist that, it goes down there. So this will be the only yellow corner. So let's do it from here. Perfect. So now once we have one corner that's yellow, what you wanna do is position it right here in this bottom side, the front left, and then you do the soon again. And now you'll either, and then here we have another one where we have to put position this over here. So we put that, put it there and do a soon again. And now all our corners are oriented. All right, let's do another example of orientation. So here, uh, what we want to do is do a soon from an angle that's going to give us one corner yellow up. So if we do it from here, this stays the same. Uh, this twists and becomes yellow up. This twists becomes yellow side. This twists and clockwise so that'll be there so this is a good angle i'll just show a bad angle for an example so if we do it here this stays this will twist and be yellow up this will twist and be yellow up and then that'll be there so the right angle to do it for this case is from here so we do the soon and there we only have one corner yellow position that on the front left and do it again and by the end of this it should be oriented. So now we have all four. Here's another example. So for this case, when you have two like this, two like this, we'll just check around the different positions. So from here, if we do it, this would twist clockwise, the yellow would be here. This would twist clockwise, the yellow would be here. This would twist clockwise, the yellow would be there. So we don't want to do it there. Let's try here. So if you do it from here, this would preserve. This yellow would be here. This twist clockwise. Nope, we'd have two yellows. Bad. Let's try this angle. Yellow would be on top for this one. Yellow would be on the back. Yellow would be there. So this is the correct angle. Now we have one. We position it there. We do the soon. We have one. We position it there. We do the soon. And there we are. So that's that goes. That's basically it for the orientation step. You just want to think about how these three corners are going to twist. End up with one corner so that it's flipped uh, yellow up. Position it there. And then do the soon again, and you should be oriented. Um, sometimes you have to do it two or three times. Next is permutation. So there's another algorithm to learn for this one. It's called the J-perm. And what the J-perm does is you want to look around the cube and find the two that match. So these two don't match. These two don't match. These two match. So reds. The two that match, you put them on the left. And you do the J-perm, it's going to switch these two. And your uh, your corners are going to be permuted. So the J perm goes like this: R U R prime. Start with the same three moves as soon, and then you just do F prime like that, and then R U R prime again, but then a U prime, and then do R prime F R, 
and we put that back, bring it down. So now we can see all our corners are permuted, and I'll show that one more time. So R U R prime F prime, R U R prime U prime, R prime F, R two U prime R prime. So most of the time you're gonna have a case where there's at least one of these matching. So here we have the blues matching, but sometimes what's gonna happen is something like this where none of them match. As you can see, these are all different colors. So what you do when none of them match is you just pick any random angle, you do your J perm, and now you're gonna have a pair that matches. And just once again, you put it on the left and do your J perm again. And now you should have your corners permuted and ready to proceed to the last six edges step of the root method. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful.